former Minister of Power and Steel, Olu Agunloye, on Monday in Abuja asked the High Court of the Federal Capital Territory, FCT, to prohibit the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission, EFCC, from prosecuting him in the alleged $6 billion fraud. Agunloye, who was put on trial by the anti-corruption agency on the alleged $6 billion Mambira hydroelectric power station fraud, is claiming that EFCC lacked power to proceed with the trial. He predicted his opposition to trial by EFCC on various grounds in his motion on notice for preliminary objections. Correspondent Kuli Ojo reports that in the objection notice filed by a senior advocate of Nigeria's son, Adiola Adedipe, on his behalf, Agunloye insisted that the EFCC lacked both investigative and prosecutorial powers under Section 6, 7 and 46 of the Economic and Financial Crimes Commission Act 2004. He also said the alleged offences in the charge were on his activities as a public officer where he was alleged to have awarded the contract without budgetary provision, approval and cash backing. The former minister further said that the charges bordered on an alleged disobedience of the directives of the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria and forgery of a letter dated May 22, 2003, as the Monday's proceedings. The former minister, through his counsel, sought to move the motion for preliminary objections. The move was, however, opposed by EFCC on the ground that the motion was not yet ripe for hearing. The claim of EFCC prompted Justice Jude to shift hearing on the preliminary objections to February 26, 2024. Akuloye was arraigned on seven charges bordering on fraudulent award of a contract and official corruption in January 2024.